hi welcome back to my youtube channel so i believe you have installed the mongodb compass so let's go ahead and open mongodb compass so for the first time this will take a couple of seconds to uh, open the mongodb compass so wait for some time all right now we have opened the mongodb compass so click on this fill in connection fields individually and here we're going to provide the host name so let's go to our browser and the host name which will be starts from after the at symbol cluster zero dot some text dot mongodb dot net so make sure to copy this host name and open the mongodb compass and paste it and the port number leave as it is like we don't have to touch anything about this port just click on this srv record because we're going to add the srv record and the authentication we do have authentication which is username and password and the username which is task manager and the password which is also task manager and the authentication database which will be admin and once you are happy with that you can click on this connect also you can go to the more options and you can uh, set the replica name and the read preferences and all the uh, and all other options so what i'll do is i'll just go ahead and click on this connect all right now we have connected to this uh, database so now all we need to do is right now there is no databases so now we have to create a database like we have to create a collection inside this database and but what i'll do is i'm going to take this url which are which is this srv url make sure to copy this and let's go to our eclipse and go to the application dot properties and i'm going to comment this and in the down i'll paste the url and make sure to change the password i'll change this to task manager and i'll copy this property and i'll paste it in the down and equal to this and the database which we are going to use to do manage api just copy this database name and paste it and shut down the server and restart it again now we should be able to connect to the production database through our spring boot application all right the application has been started you can see and now let's go to the postman and let's go ahead and fire a query so let's click on this create to do and go to the body and let's go ahead and click on this send and it should return a response which is this and now let's go to our mongodb compass and just refresh this we should get a database to do manager api and when you click on this we do have this to do's collection and inside this we do have a record which we have created just now which is order mobile okay so let's go ahead and try one one more time and i'll change this to order food order food and when i click on this send we do get the response and let's go to the mongodb compass and control r this will reload the explorer and we do get a two documents all right so now we have set up the production database which is available on the mongodb atlas and in the next video we're going to deploy this application to heroku and we're going to test our work so that is coming up in the next video i will see you in the next video